Welcome back again to Low Optics. Today we are going to assemble a mousetrap car. It is a mini wooden car that uses a string to accelerate without using any energy. In the assembly we are going to be using these materials. Firstly, I will attach all four of the grommets into the two wheel axes and then attach those wheel axes to a sidebar. Secondly, I will link the two sidebars together using the wheel axis. After this, I will fix the brace onto the sidebars. Next, the passenger seat will be assembled by attaching the car seat onto the backrest. I will now fix the two small wheels and the two big wheels onto the newly assembled backbone car chassis. Subsequently, the spring will be attached to the spring holder and that holder will be fixed onto the mousetrap launch rod. Then, both washers will be put into the launch rod and fixed onto the spring holder. The newly assembled launch stick will be attached onto the chassis via the brace. To secure the spring further, the axle will be inserted through. I will now put the elastic band onto the eyelet and attach and tie a string into it as well. Afterwards, I will assemble the car car and attach it to the car chassis. the long string from the eyelet onto the back of the car. The assembly is now complete. To be able to launch the car, we need to move the car backwards or spin the wheels backwards. As you can see, if you move the wheels backwards far enough, the string will collect up at the end of the car. This string 
or move the wheels forward as the launch stick is released. Shows my first ever attempt at making the car go using that procedure. That attempt failed most likely due to one wheel being lifted at the start because of the string not being centered correctly. The second attempt also failed a similar reason. The following clip shows the third attempt. As you can see, it succeeded since the wheels were on the ground and the car was correctly aligned to point to the finish post. Here it is in slow motion. launches is because the spring, which is attached to the launch stick on one end and the car chassis on the other, pushes the launch stick forward and it is pulled back. This creates the domino effect of the string then being tugged and pulled back very quickly, which then proceeds to accelerate the wheels. crashes you can still put the car on its correct track and it will still go on. This is because the string, the wheels and the launch stick stay in their forward position given that you hold the wheel while moving the car. The specific mousetrap car uses wooden wheels. However, wheel cars and even large mousetrap cars can use metal and rubber tyres. There are four types of these tyres. Summer tyres, which are flatter and good for driving on asphalt and dirt roads. Studded tyres, which are rougher and provide suitable grip on slippery roads at low temperatures. And off-road tyres, which are the roughest and suitable for overcoming obstacles, mud and enduring hunt conditions. And finally, racing tyres, which are almost completely flat and provide good trip on the track and safety at high speeds. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Remember to like and subscribe to Low Optics and check out the videos displayed on the screen. If you would like to build your own mousetrap car like this, try out Mel Science's STEM description, link in the description. See you next time. Bye!